Hi guys! So I have a winter haul for you today. These are all things that I've accumulated since my last haul, which I think was all the way in the summer. Uh, some of these were gifts and then other things I bought myself. So let's straighten me out. Great! Uh, so here is what I got. Uh, so I got this from Sephora and this is the Bright and Bold Stay All Day liquid lip set and it has like a bright purple a red and a fuchsia in it and I can swatch these for you I got this in the neutrals of before let me show you those ones I got the neutral set earlier in the holiday season uh, that was these three colors here and I love these so I wanted to get the bright ones too these are let me see. I think these most of these are permanent shades. Okay, so these are the three from the neutral set. Um, this is Perla, Patina's in the middle, and then Serenata is at the bottom. And then the, let me do the brights for you. And this set was only $20. One I got myself and one was a gift. Um, but these liquid lipsticks are amazing. They are pretty drying, but they stay put. So it's sort of like that trade-off of like if you can handle just like wearing a gloss over to keep it comfortable, then it's totally worth it because the colors are amazing. They're really, really, really pigmented. And I was excited because this set had Beso in it, and I've always wanted Beso because it's a really, really good red. So the three from the brights are... At the top there's Beso, in the center is Viola, and then the bottom is Lume, or Lume is the fuchsia. I'm really excited to have some of these now because they are definitely my favorite liquid lipsticks. Also as a gift I got this little Best of Butter London kit from Ulta. It comes in this little bag which I think is really cute. I like see-through bags for travel. It has the Double Decker Mascara, which I'm not going to open because I have some mascaras open right now. It has a gloss in Pillow Talk, and I've not tried this yet. Whoa, looks like very nude. Yeah, it's very milky, milky nude color. It's right there. That's pretty. It also has a nail polish in it. It has this red color, which looks beautiful and the color is Come to Bed Red. I'm excited to have this because I really like Butter London nail polishes. They're thin, but they're very opaque. And then I got a birthday gift from Sephora, which came with a little Vino Perfect serum, which I actually know that I love. It's on my wish list, but I mean, I'll never get it. It's like $75. And then also the Vino Source Cream Sorbet, and these are both from Caudalie. So that's a pretty good birthday gift, I think, because you get a decent amount of product. Uh, also from Sephora, I got this Super Goop Eye Cream with Oat Peptides, and this has SPF in it. And the reason I got this is because I always use the Ole Henriksen, but this is just like I think it's like about $10 cheaper, and it has a higher SPF, so I thought if this works, then it could be a better option for me. And it has one of those, like, metal tip applicators, which is I don't always love. It does feel pretty cool, like, literally temperature cool. But we will see how this works. I'm still using up my other ones, so I haven't tried this yet. And everything I talk about, I'll link down below if it's still available. I went to Harmon Face Values, which now is just called Face Values, I guess. So I went to Face Values, uh, and I picked up a few things because um, they just opened a new location by me, and so they had a 20% off everything coupon. So I got this from NYX. It's one of their ombre blushes in Code Breaker, which I think is such a cool name. The packaging, just black packaging, but this blush is so pretty. And I know that like the ombre effect isn't necessarily going to show up on the skin at all, but I just think this is a really pretty color. I really like the um, like the bottom half here is more purpley, and then it goes to like a more fuchsia color. Uh, but if I just swirl them, then it's really soft. It's this color right here. So very bright. Um, but I've been looking for a blush to pair with Aura from Urban Decay, which is a highlighter I have, and I feel like this with Aura would be so pretty. Also from 
Carmen Feast Values, I got this Maybelline Lasting Drama Pencil in Striking Copper, and I'm really hoping that this will be similar to Lucky, which is an Urban Decay pencil that I've had for way too long because I bought a bunch of backups of these when they discontinued this color. So I'm hoping that this Striking Copper will be similar. I'm a little shaky, I guess, I've had a lot of coffee today. Cool. Also from Sephora, sorry, I'm kind of jumping around because I don't have everything. i just been throwing it all in this box. Um, but also from Sephora, I got the Alchemist palette. I got this with a gift card. I would not have gotten it ordinarily. Um, the things people are saying about this is basically like the colors are beautiful, but it's not a lot of product for your money. And I agree with all those things, but it was a gift card, so it was like the perfect time to get it. I think the packaging is so beautiful. It's just this cute little triangle. And then these are the shades, which it's hard to kind of pick up the differences in the shades until you swatch them. But all four of them are duochrome. And I have tried these a few times. I've tried them foiled, and I've also tried them just like over uh, shadow and also on my bare lid. And I think they're really pretty. You can also use them as face highlights, although this pans are so small. Okay, so these are the colors that come in there. I don't know how much that's going to pick up, um, but it's pink, ultraviolet, green, and blue are the colors. They all have a really nice duochrome shift to them. I just, I think they're beautiful. And then, this was a gift from a friend as part of like a big bag full of stuff, and it's the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot which is just like a really scary name for <laughs> mascara. It's like, whoa, I don't need like a colossal big shot like at, aimed at my eyes. But it's, yeah, it looks cool. And I like Maybelline mascaras a lot, so we will see. But once again, I'm not gonna open this because I have some other mascaras that I'm working through. I also went to Target and they had a bunch of stuff on clearance, I got a Rimmel Scandalize in brown. It's the waterproof one. These are awesome for the waterline, and they're really cheap. And this was even cheaper. It was $3.28 because it was on clearance. So I'm really excited about this. And then also from Rimmel, but this I got at Harmon Face Values because they were out of stock at Target, is the Brow This Way Clear Brow Gel. This is just a backup because the one I have is, is running low and looks disgusting. But this is a really good gel. The only thing about it is that you have to kind of wipe off the brush on the edge before you use it or you'll have too much product. But it's a really small little brush and it does really hold the brows in place. So I like it and it's cheap. So um, yeah, I got another one. I'm so excited to show you guys my makeup collection setup because I think I have it. I think I finally got it. Uh, but I'll do that video later. So Target was also running a sale on Pixi products. I don't know if they're just getting rid of Pixie altogether, or if they're just like changing up the line. But they had on sale the Brightening Peach Corrector, which is supposed to be similar to the Benefit Erase Paste. There it is. And it's just like a peachy color. Yeah, that looks like it'd be a good match for me. Peachy colors like this, you wear under concealer to cancel out blue under the eyes, which I certainly have. I always have. Pictures of me as a little kid, I'm like, look like I'm like strung out and tired because I've just always had these bags under my eyes. I also got this color correcting powder foundation and this was on sale for $14 from 20 and it's in the color cream. And I love the little green packaging. For some reason it like makes me think of like toy makeup. It looks like a toy to me. But this I was really hoping would be similar to the Naked Skin Powder Foundation from Urban Decay. I don't know why, just on a whim, I was like, maybe they're similar because that one's expensive and this was not. So it does feel very smooth and buttery um, and it's a good color match for me, but it does feel just like a tiny bit powdery on the skin. Like it doesn't sort of blend into the skin the way that the Naked one does, but I haven't tried it on my face yet. so. We will see. Also from Pixie, in my quest to find copper eyeliners, I got this Endless Silky Eye Pen in Copper Glow. And I got excited about, about the name, but it's so dark. Like, I would definitely call this like a bronze. Yeah, it's definitely more of like a brown with a slight like bronzy coppery shift. It's right here. But I 
like these endless silky eye pens. They're really good as well. And that was on sale too. This was on sale somewhere, but I don't know where. It's the Real Techniques Deep Cleansing Gel for brushes. And I think this was like $3 somewhere on, on clearance. And I needed a new brush shampoo. And I also need to clean my brushes. So now that I've shot this video and I can put this away, I hope I will. I hope I will as if I have nothing to do with it. Oh, also as a gift, I got a set of nail polishes from Wet n Wild. These are the One Step Wonder Gel, and these are amazing. I love these nail polishes. Um, they're great, but they're kind of pricey for Wet n Wild, like they're $5 each. So this is a set of four, and the colors are All That Jazzy, which I've tried and it's really pretty. It's like a gold color. Under My Plum which is obviously a plum shade. Stay classy, this is the one I'm most excited about. And a red, Crime of Passion. So it'll be like a, a you know, competition between Come to Bed Red and Crime of Passion. Oh my gosh, I did Back to Mac, finally. I always hear people talking about Back to Mac, and I'm always like, I don't have enough. And then the other day I looked at my Back to Mac bag, and I had six products. So I was like, oh yeah, I am excited about this. So I went to one of their stores, and I got this. It's a new lipstick. It's a frost in Time to Shine. And it is so pretty. It's just like, it's just frost, basically. Um, you put it on right there. Actually, I'm going to put it on my lips and see what happens. Probably what's going to happen is it'll be on my lips. Okay, let's put this on over. Right now I have a Clinique matte lipstick on and a Jordana liner. So there it is. Now I have frosty lips. It definitely took a little while to like build up the frost over what I already have, but I'm going to play around with this and see. It looks cool by itself. I've worn it by itself and it looks cool. But yeah, I just thought it's free when you get back to Mac stuff, so I thought I'd try something kind of wild. Oh my gosh, my mom found one of these Andy Warhol Flowers one for NARS. This is an old series. Um, I don't know how she found one, but this is what they look like. Isn't that pretty? I just want it as a collector's item. I mean, the colors are pretty too, but I almost don't want to like mess it up. It's just so cool. So I'm really grateful for this and excited because it just looks so cool. Let me show you what the colors come up as. So there's sort of a red, a yellow, a purple, and a white. And then the, the surrounding area comes up as like a deep green. So those are the colors. They're really kind of like more washes of color than, than anything. The white is the boldest one. Um, but as I said, I'm more excited just to have this to look at it than to use it. Although I'm going to try it. I got a cute bonus. I think this was 100 point perk or something, but it's a mini vice lipstick and I'm so excited because I don't have any vice lipsticks because I don't buy high end lipsticks pretty much at all, except for the MAC one, but I didn't even really buy that. Um, and look how cute. It's just like a tiny version of their packaging with this sort of beveled surface here. And this is in the color Venom. And I've tried this and it is amazing. It goes on in one coat and it really stays put and it's moisturizing. I'm like tempted to get more, but I'm not going to. Not until I've used up a lot of what I have. But let me show you this color. I'm running out of places to swatch. There it is right there. Oh, I'm so excited to have this. This is probably one of the best perks I've ever gotten from Sephora. I don't know if I would shown you guys this. I got like a little uh, Burberry box. I've, I've taken it all apart now. I wish I could show you it all in the box because it's so pretty. But the things that it came with are the Nude Glow, just like a little bottle of that. And then this lipstick in, I believe it's in Rosewood. Either Rosewood or Sandalwood. Oh my gosh, look. It even has the little Burberry embossing even just on the little tiny, tiny bullet. So cute. Gosh, I'm guys, I'm a little out of it. I'm going to be honest, I haven't shot a video in a while. Oh my gosh, I love that. It's sort of an orangey, orangey nude brown. 
So that is sandalwood or rosewood. I'm not sure. I can't read it because I can't read small print anymore. But that is a tiny Burberry lipstick. I had a full size Burberry lipstick, um, but it wasn't. It didn't work on my lips. Like it was a really light pink, and it wasn't opaque enough to show up on my lips. Um, unless I used a liner, and I just felt like if I'm going to buy a Burberry lipstick, they're so expensive, I want it to be a color that I absolutely love. So I'm excited to have a more a deeper color because I think it will work better. And then it also came with this little blush. And sometimes on Sephora you can find this Burberry kit. If, if I find it, I'll link it below. But this is in the color Cameo, which I think is such a beautiful name for something. And there's that blush. Look at my shaky, shaky hands. And let me swatch this for you. There it is right there. Is it in shot? There we go. It's right there. It's like just a neutral, kind of pinkish beige. Oh, that's going to look so pretty. Especially in like spring and summer. I'm so excited to have this. It is scented. Does not smell good. Oh, I wish I had not. I, it's like in my throat. Okay. Bad choice, Joanna. <sighs> Okay, then that that was. Okay, one more thing. So, um, as you guys know, I go to Lot Less a lot, which is basically like Big Lots, or um, Big Lots is the only other one I can think of. But it's a discount store, so they close. They, it's like a closeout store for lines that are being phased out, and they had the Master Highlight blushes from Maybelline for three dollars each and I've had my eye on these so many times I've had them in my shopping bag so many times and I always put them back because I don't need more blush and that is still true but for six dollars I just really wanted to try them I wish they had the um, plum one or the nude one but they just had the pink and the coral so this one's oh gosh this one is called pink rose and these are like they have a lot of different little compartments going on in there compartments. Anyway, so here's this one. Just a very light sparkly pink. And then the other one is Coral. These do not have very exciting names, y'all. This is what Coral looks like up close. And this is what it looks like swatched. Oh, it's so this. These are so pretty. These are going to be perfect for um, for the summer. My throat is still bothering me from like inhaling Burberry blush directly into my lungs. So that's it. That's my haul for winter 2017 and I will talk to you guys very soon. Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this video please subscribe. Bye guys!